Hello friends. Today's video is about comic book wholesaling. And I did a, a comic book wholesale transaction um, this past weekend. I went to a comic shop in Monterey that I'd never been to ever, ever before. And I spent $300 even. I gave him three Ben Franklins. And for that $300, I got 79 comic books. And these are some of them that I'm showing you. So that divided out to be $3.79 per comic. And, and that's an that's a excellent deal. There's a Vababoom Catwoman. Uh, we had uh, a little run of Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is a member of the X-Men. Moon Knight, of course, is popular. So I snagged the, th the three that he had. That's all he had was three. She-Hulk, also very popular right now because of the TV shows and movies they're putting out. So I try to home in on, on those, you know, the things that are hot now. That's what I'll try to, to home in on. So... That's why I snagged She-Hulk and Moon Knight. Uh, also came across um, Spider-Woman. And, and those are also from the 1970s. And, and then the other thing too is, you know, so for $3.79, you see this Doctor Strange, number 48. Well... I just sold a Doctor Strange number 48, and here is the sale paper from it. It went to Canada, and the shipping to Canada is $5, so 41 minus 5 is 36, so I sold Doctor Strange for 36, and now I have another one that I paid $3.79 for, so, so we can see how... Um, uh, once I sell maybe 10 or 12 of these, then it will pay for the entire $300 that I paid. And so then all of the rest of them will be gravy. And that's, that's really the advantage of buying in bulk. Um, an another thing that you want to do when you're going to buy in bulk, whether, whether it's, um, at a retail store or whether it's at a flea market, is hand them your card. And the reason for that is dealers will give other dealers a deal because they, they, want, they want you to be able to make money too. And also, if you tell them you're a dealer, then they kind of... They already know that you have money because if, if you know if you're going to be a dealer, you have to have money. You know that just, and if you don't, then obviously you're not a very good dealer. Um, <clears throat> I did get What If. I managed to get three near mint copies of What If Number One, also in this same lot. I picked up a Fool Kill Fool Killer. That's a hard one to say. Fool Killer Number One. Uh, he's a character that has, for some reason, caught on. He's really strange. Um, so I found the number one of his, and I don't know what it's worth. I haven't looked. Uh, I haven't looked that up because I haven't had a fool killer number one. We've got a Doctor Strange annual. We've got Deathlock, the Demolisher. Deathlock has really caught on, and uh, he was around in the seventies. And then he came around again in the 1990s. And all of them, whether they're 70s, 80s, or 90s, are all desirable. These other two stacks, this one and this one, are not from the $300 purchase that I got from the dealer. Uh, the ones that are from the dealer are, are everything except for those two stacks. And I got, I got some 1980s Falcon. Uh, remember Captain America and the Falcon? They were a team for quite a long time. 
and <clears throat> so I've snagged all of those. A lot of times when dealers have a lot of duplicates of the same of the same book like he had here, they don't like it. They 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 only want a few of each one. And so when somebody like me comes along, I buy them all, you know. And so so he's when he was going through them, he goes, "Oh, these falcons, you can have them for a buck each." Of course, it all divides out to be three dollars and seventy nine cents. And and also in the lot, uh, I did come across some Silver Age. You know, there was not a lot of Silver Age in his store, but if it's there, I'm going to home in on it. So this is the Flash Age. You know, Silver Age, by the way, is 1960s. So, <clears throat> and I love I love Silver Age comics. So this is an 80-page Giant of the Flash. You can see it's in really nice condition. And no, I didn't pay $25 for it. I paid $3.79 for it. Here's a really rough condition, Justice League of America. But it's a it's an early issue. You can see it's issue number 45. And Justice League ran it for three or four hundred issues. Um, it got up to, to 300 and 400. Here's a, here's a Brave and the Bold with Batman and the Metal Men. Has a little bit of writing on it. But other, other than that, it's in decent condition. Unclear on what that would sell for. He has it marked at $2, but I think that was an old price tag. Some of these price tags are his, and some of them are ones that were on the comics when he bought them. So they were, they were kind of, seemed like they were just getting started at the store. He told me he'd been there a year, but man, their stuff was nowhere near organized like mine. And Strange Tales, there's Nick Fury, another one, nice condition. Here's an early Daredevil, number 15. Uh, it's kind of hard to find those early Daredevils in decent condition. This one, you know, been read a few times, but still, you know, it's still, if it's still... Um, hooked up where the staples are and all the pages are there then you can grade this one probably a good I would grade it as good but other sellers on eBay they're not you know they're not as conservative as me so they would probably call it a good to very good and that's why I end up with 100% um, positive feedback on eBay is because I grade in, in favor of the buyer. And that way no one ever complains about grading because they're getting something that's even nicer than what they expected. Here's a really, really clean Bronze Age. That's 1970s. So Silver Age is 60s, Bronze Age is 70s. And then in 1980s is the Copper Age. And then anything after the Copper Age is simply called Modern Age. And uh, here's, a, here's a quite old one. This is Detective Comics number 313. And, and it looks to be in very nice condition. He yeah, has this one priced at 55. It, it probably would guide. I would think it would guide somewhere around 55. It depends on how old that price tag is that he put on there. You know, if he put that price tag on there five years ago or seven years ago, and he was pricing his things at uh, guide, then this should be higher. My, my thinking is it's going to be higher. It's probably going to come in more in the $75 to $80 range. And then we have Tales of Suspense, a very popular title. And... So that's a nice clean one. Then we have this rough condition Justice League. And it's even an earlier issue than the previous one that I showed you. But you can see it's kind of kind of messed up. So this one with that, assuming the rest of it is complete, you would give this one a grade of fair. And fair is still collectible as long as it's complete. You don't want any missing pages. You don't want any coupons clipped out of there where somebody went to an ad page and ordered something by mail. 
if you got that happening, then it's got to be classified as poor. So here's the Red Skull, a very popular villain of Captain America. This is a nice, clean-looking Tales of Suspense number 90. And then we have a second one. Yay! Oh, I love it when there's duplicates. Because that way, that way when I list it, when I list it on eBay and I describe it and who the artists are and whatnot, and let's say it sells, then I have a second one to sell and it's much easier to put it on eBay because the only different thing I need to do is scan the front and the back cover. But the description for it is already there because I took the time to do that when I first listed it. So um, I love duplicates. That's why I pick up these. You know, the, the Falcon's going to sell for, you know, around the price what I paid for it, $379. But I'm not listing the Falcon now. These Falcons, they need to age. You need to age, Mr. Falcon. Then you will be worth more than $3.79. And I'll have a whole bunch of you that I can just list over and over and over. Sell over and over and over. And then here's another good-looking Tales of Suspense, number 88. And there's Tales of Suspense, number 87. And here's Tales of Suspense, number 85. So the, so the Tales of Suspense, those are, those are going to sell kind of... You know, they're going to sell for higher than this. You know, that, that, will, that will not sell for... $15. It's way too low. Um, <clears throat> I've pretty much sold all of my Tales of Suspense. Um, I just started on those and after like six months they were all gone. So now I have some that are replenished. And then there's Mickey Mouse Club. Fun book. Been read a few times. I just wanted it. So it's nice and thick. You know, it's thick like, like, like a book. See? It's got, it's got um, two, oh, there we are, 224 fun packed pages. Oh, and look at the, look at the members of the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, look at them. Interesting. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. So about the wholesaling again and, and giving the person the card, you know, you want to do that also at <clears throat> flea markets. And I do that a lot at flea markets where, where if I see a, a seller who's selling quite a few different things that I want, then I'll tell them I'm a dealer and I'll hand them a card. And, you know, just like with the, the fellow in the comic shop, um, who worked the deal on these with me, they will too. And and so I usually try to buy a, a bunch of items from the same seller, assuming I know I can sell them and make a profit. And they'll they'll give you way off of what they were asking for it. So that is your lesson today when you, for when you want to become a comic dealer like Bill you have some insight into how to buy. So I hope you appreciated it. Um, I know my filming is rough, but I, I kind of feel like it's getting better as we go along. Um, I'm filming this with Monty. Monty is my, my Samsung tablet, and Monty is big, so... You know, that's why that's why he kind of shakes because you know I'm moving around and you you just can't hold Monty that still like you would if you were filming with a cell phone. But I don't like filming with a cell phone. So I hope hope everybody enjoyed it, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye.